This will be a quick review for the Prusa i3 MK3S Plus that I picked up in the Black Friday sale bundle. It was already pre-assembled from Prusa themselves and tested. Um, I've had no issues with it whatsoever. I actually built the enclosure uh, parts with this same printer and I've had no problems whatsoever. The other thing that they give you additional in the um, deal is an extra build plate as well as one spool of their PETG Prusament as obviously the regular PET that they, P, I'm sorry, PLA that they give you when you buy a complete printer. So with that all being said, I'm pretty happy with the, the purchase so far. I've had nothing but great things to say about it. One of the things that I did notice that they updated was they changed the knob so that it actually has three little areas to grab it from. It makes it super easy and convenient. In that same spot, if we look down, a lot of people had complained that these two areas right here were actually being held by zip ties and they came that way from Prusa. So I'm really glad to see that they updated that. I thought it was gonna be something that I was gonna to have to update and do something on my own. So really glad to see that that came done as well. The other thing I did notice was that this unit also comes with a new power supply unit. It has the, what's called, what people are on the internet are just calling the, oh, I'm sorry, wrong side, are calling the, uh, black style power supply. It has an all metal enclosure and it does not use the same brackets. If you're using a, um, a lack enclosure build, you're, you're not gonna have the same relocate bracket. So that's something that you're gonna wanna look at before starting this little project. Like I said, other than that, I've been extremely happy. This is the, what's currently on the printer is the PEI smooth sheet. And down below, sitting under the, um, printer enclosure, I have the textured sheet. So I'll go ahead and pick that up right here. You can kind of see the texture difference in it. That's going to give you a nice finish on some of your parts, opposed to just having that real flat, smooth finish there. So in addition to the Black Friday bundle, um, I got the 3D printing handbook, the basics of 3D printing, and this was the plate that we spoke of earlier. Now, every complete printer from them, uh, whether it's a kit or a build, comes with a few additional things. That's going to be some tools, a Phillips needle nose, some Allen wrenches, a orifice cleaner for cleaning your tip, and a spare parts kit. It came with some lubricant down here, as well as a glue stick and a steel scraper, and of course a set of Prusa stickers. At this point in the video, I'm just going to do a few clips of the printer actually running. I'm going to try to get it from a few different angles, so if people have anything they want to wonder about, I actually put my stand on a base too, so that way it um, gives it plenty of rigidity for this enclosure system that I have going on here. It's all plexiglass and Ikea lac tables. It's actually uh, my own little take on three of them with LED lighting in there. Alexa, printer lights blue. She's got it hooked up, red, light, green, blue, white controller, and uh, pretty much you can get any color we want out of them. No problems there, I got them running from the top as you can see there. And then if I pan over to the sides, you'll see that they're actually just strips running down through the front right here. Alexa, printer light white.